Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel and for today's video, we are going to be talking about the products that I used up in the first quarter of 2023. So if that's your thing, please keep on watching. So let's start with the first two makeup items lang that I finished up. So let's first start with this eyeshadow. We have the Face Shop. This is a single eyeshadow from Face Shop. I'm not really sure what shade it is or they still sell it because I got this in 2018 and uh, surprise, surprise, I just finished it in 2023. I mean, you guys know that eyeshadow or any like powder product takes 100 years to be finished. So with the pen size of this one, it is really sure that it will take a decade for me to use it up. But anyway, for the past year and this uh, first quarter, this is the only eyeshadow that I've been using. Talagang, I really made an effort to use it up because I want to toss this eyeshadow already. I really like the color of this one. It has a glittery orange and a corally that complements my uh, skin tone. I'm just so happy and proud that I was able to get this out of my collection. And after this, now it's time for me to move on to another single shadow that I will be working on. Um, if this is still in the market, probably I would recommend you guys to pick it up because it's really flattering. If you have a fair skin tone, it's really flattering uh, when you use it on your eyes. However, personally on my part, I'm not going to purchase this anymore or any eyeshadow simply because I have a lot of eyeshadow and I also have one orange uh, coral shadow currently in my collection so I think it doesn't make sense to get another one. The next makeup item that I finished up is this Caroline Oil Control Blush on and it is the shade Peach Glow. This is another corally orangey uh, makeup item that I have. This is a blush on and I really like this one. This has a matte finish and in fairness when I use this on my cheek, uh, hindi martayolet yung effect sa aking cheeks. And one thing that I love about this is this is so cheap actually. Um, I believe this is only like 95 pesos or 100 pesos. But since I got it on sale, I snagged this for 45 pesos. So, Santa pa. I got this, I think, at the end of 2019. Probably like December-ish, I believe. Because there's like a huge SM uh, beauty sale at that time. That's why I only snagged it at 45 pesos. And then I've been using it. Uh, it's always on my rotation. And surprise, surprise, I finished it up this month long. So you can see that the pigmentation is there and then the quality is there. That it took me quite a while to finish this up. I am such a huge blush person. That's why I have more blushes in my collection compared to like contour or highlighters. Although I really like this one, I think I'm not going to repurchase this one simply because I am also looking forward on trying out other finishes or like this is a powder blush and I wanted to try also liquid blushes or serum blushes. That's why for now, I'm not going to repurchase this. But of course, if you are eyeing any of the Caroline blushes, especially this one, highly recommend this one. Now let's go to skincare. Let's first talk about this face mask. The first one that I have, and I think I got it as a freebie from a product that I got or I purchased. But anyway, this is the Zuzu Supreme 24K Gold Foil Mask. Personally, I don't remember how this one really performs since I'm not a face mask sheet kind of person. Like I do masking, but I'm more on like clay mask or like uh, anti like pore mask simply because I felt like this is um, wasteful and not good for the environment. Mask sheets are products that I don't usually purchase with my own money simply because I, it's only a one-time use. I think it's very wasteful. But if it is a gift or a freebie, then I will just simply use it. So I got a bunch of this Nature Republic uh, face sheet mask. Uh, we have the cucumber, chamomile, tomato, olive, and tomato. Oh, I have tomato. All right, yeah, I got two tomatoes. Anyway, it was a gift from my childhood friend, Sheila. So hi there, if you're watching. But anyways, um, I do like this one. It's very moisturizing on my skin. The downside of this one is that it's pretty small for the size of my face. As you guys can see, I have like huge circle or round face. And whenever I use this one, I'm always having trouble fitting this on, on my face. And one thing also that I like about this is that it doesn't easily slip off. So these masks have humongous or like generous amount of serum or like skin skincare in them. So actually after you use it on your face, there's still a lot of this left that you can put it um, on your arms, on your neck part of the body or the chest part of the body. Like what I said a while ago, sheet masks are something that I don't really purchase simply because I look at it as very wasteful. Again, um, as you can see, this is like a single-use plastic. And uh, I don't know, like imagine I only use seven of these, but the amount of garbage that I have to throw or to dispose in the landfill. I'm not a very uh, environmental-ish kind of person, but you know, I do care about the ways that I contribute to the environment. So yeah, that's it. But anyway, if you want to try this product and you've been trying any of these products, 
you do you okay go for it buy it because these are really good products the next makeup item that I finish up is the BRA makeup remover. I will always and always repurchase this because this has been my go-to makeup remover. It removes even the strongest um, waterproof mascara. So this one really works well for me. So this kind of product is when I uh, walk into the store and then I, I am overwhelmed with the amount of products or the different kinds of product. And I see this, this is the first thing that I will, uh, I will buy simply because I know how it performs and I know that this is a really good product. I also like the design of the packaging of this one simply because um, this is the oil cleanser product that doesn't spill and it is travel friendly. Next, we have the Jeju Aloe Eyes 3-in-1 Niacinamide Dark Spot Toner. So, I believe this is another variation of the Fresh Skin Love uh, skincare line. I randomly pick it up in Watson's because I ran out of toner. I think that it's interesting because it has 3-in-1 uh, Niacinamide and Dark Spot Toner. So, I believe that uh, the claim of this one is it lightens your dark spot. But I'll have to say, this is a good toner. I think all Fresh Skin Love toners are really good. They are very nourishing, hydrating, and moisturizing. But the thing is that when it comes to like uh, lightening the dark spot, I don't think it is or it did something to lighten my dark spot. This is 100 ml and it retails for 219 pesos. For the price, it's not bad at all. But personally, I will not repurchase uh, this one simply because uh, I want to try new um, products and new kind of toners. Next is we have the Ordinary Salicylic Acid 2% Solution. I made a dedicated video of this and I reviewed it side by side with the azelaic acid. If you watch that video, you guys know that I really love this product. It really helps out in uh, reducing the blemishes and dark spot on, on my skin. It also helps out in reducing the fine lines that is visible on my forehead. Although it's not in the claim, but that's how I felt when I was continuously using this one. Also, it didn't purge my skin, it didn't broke me out. And also, whenever I use this one, I have some breakout on my face. These products help out in speeding up my pimple to be dried. So it flattens my pimple pretty quickly. With all the positive things that I said about this, of course, I will repurchase this again, but not now because I have my eyes on other serums for now. I finished up one uh, eye cream and this is the Bio Aqua Aloe Vera Eye Gel. Good product actually. Uh, since this is an eye gel, uh, the color of this one is so transparent that it's not visible uh, when applied uh, under your eye. Also, it is very fast absorbent, like you don't have to wait for a minute in order to apply your, your next skincare after using this one. However, I just noticed that when I use like more amount or like a huge amount of this one on my eyes, it easily irritates my eyes and there are even times that my eyes turn red when accidentally it came contact with my eyes. So it is safe to say that I will not buy this again. The last item in the skincare category is the Salatec Skin Defense Daily Protection Matte Moisturizer. It took me like a year to finish this up. This is a good moisturizer for the price actually. But one thing that I don't like about this one is it's very oily. And uh, the fact that it's oily and it's very sticky. Another one is it leaves a white cast on my skin. Which is a little bit funny because according to the packaging, it's non-greasy. But to be honest, I felt really greasy when I was using this one. And even though after I, I let it sit in for like 5 minutes to 10 minutes, I can still feel the greasiness on my skin when I'm using this one. It sucks to be honest because of the price. I think I only got it for 230 pesos and this is a local brand and I'm all about supporting Filipino brands. But for me, it didn't work for me. But if probably if you have a drier skin, since I am an oily combination, I have a very oily T-zone and normal uh, skin on the rest of my face, uh, that's how I felt. But probably if you have drier skin than me, then maybe this one will work for you. But still, I cannot really forgive the white cast that it leaves on my skin. Moving on to the next category is the body care. So first one on my list is this Love Beauty and Planet with coconut oil and ilang ilang aroma body wash. I do love Love Beauty and Planet products. I think they are one of the most environmental friendly, organic or like um, green products out there in the market. And I got this I think last year of December 2021 and it took me like more than a year to use it up simply because I prefer other body wash over this one. This is not a bad product. It's just that the scent like the ilang ilang scent with coconut oil is really not my jam. That's why I didn't have the motivation to finish this up. But now I was able to finish this up and so far it's it's an okay product to me and of course with that it's, it's safe to say that i will not buy this product again 
Okay, I did say that I don't like the scent of this product. I mean, like, I don't hate it, but I'm not also not crazy about it. But I do love the softness that it gives to my skin. After I use this one, uh, I really don't need to use a body lotion after this because it leaves my skin soft. Next one, I have my body scrub, and this is the Abony Spa White Sea uh, Creamy Salt. <sighs> I don't like this. Okay, simply because the salt of this one is, for me, I think it's pretty aggressive. They are not really fine and it's pretty aggressive when you rub it on your skin. Another one that I don't like about this is that the packaging is pretty um, hard. So it's difficult to squeeze out the salt products in it. And also the opening of this one, okay, so the opening is, of this one is so small but the, the salt in there are very thick. In the end, I'm not yet halfway through it, but I have to cut it so that I can scoop out the product in it. You guys know that I really have huge pet peeve with especially squeezy tube that it's so difficult to squeeze out the products. I really hate those kind of products. So it's safe to say I will never ever repurchase this product again. Next, I finished up two body lotions. The first one is the Lux Organics Niacinamide Centellia Asiatica Velvet Body Cream. Wow, that was a very long name. But anyway, I did purchase this last year and I use it up this year. These days, I've been using up a lot of body lotion. I am currently in an environment that it's so hot and it's so humid that I really want to rub all the body lotion that I can to my skin because the thing is that if my skin is uh, contacted with the sun or with the heat, it starts to become very rough. That's why I always make sure to reapply my lotion all throughout the day. Moving on, I really love this body lotion. This is a very thin-like texture that easily absorbed by the skin. And also, I love the scent of this one. Whenever I apply this one, I can feel the smoothness of my skin. However, when it comes to the brightening side, I don't think I felt that one. I don't think that it has an effect on me. Uh, well, the fact that hindi naman ako nagpapapute, so it's not really a huge deal for me. But anyway, I highly, highly recommend this one. And also, I only got this for 230 pesos. And this is like 400 ml. So it has a good uh, value for your money. Okay, I know I just said a while ago that I am not going but my second uh, lotion is a skin white whitening lotion with glutathione plus vitamin C. Okay, hypocrite of me. But anyway, I got this one because this is the only one available in the grocery store. I ran out of lotion at the time, so I, bu I bought this. But anyway, I must say that this product performed well. It has a thick consistency that kind of, it takes a while to be absorbed by the skin. Also, the scent of this one is... It's pretty um, decent, not super crazy, more on like, yeah, the typical skin white product. It's not fruity scent, it's not a flowery scent, it, but the smell is just good. Okay, sorry, I suck at <laughs> describing the scent of the product, but so far it's, it's decent. And yeah, for me, I'm not going to repurchase this again. I just bought this as like an emergency body lotion because I ran out, but something that I would run to the store to get it, no. But also, the effectiveness of this one when it comes to whitening, I also didn't feel it. Well, personally, I usually wear like uh, long sleeve clothes and pants. I know that I'm always under the sun most of the time, but um, I have my own ways in protecting my skin. So with this one, I'm not really sure. But if you guys are on a hunt with whitening product, probably you can try this one. And also, this is just pretty cheap. Next, I finished two nail products. Let's first start with my top coat. I finished up this Bobbi Basics Fast Dry Top Coat. I really like this one. I believe I got this last year in Watson's at 48 pesos lang. And I used this for one whole year. Again, for your reference, I do my nails once a week. And whenever I do my nails, I always use this top coat. I already repurchased one of this simply because this is tried and tested. I do like this one. I did try other top coats in the past. I believe I did try the Happy Skin top coat. I also like that one, but the price of Happy Skin top coat is like 280 pesos versus 48 pesos. And I think they have the same performance. This product really helps out in um, prolonging the nail polish or the life of the nail polish on my nails. Whenever I use this as a top coat, uh, the nail polish doesn't easily chip off. It's safe to say that the life of my nail polish, even though I do the dishes and I do the laundry and I do other kinds of work, the maximum life of the nail polish would be one week before it will chip off. Next, I finished one nail polish and this is the Chic Nail Color. This is the Knockout Collection Femme Fatale. 
So this is the current nail polish that I'm using today and this is the last bit that I have. So anyway, I do like this one. It's very flattering. The color of this one is teal and I must say whenever I use this one, I got a lot of compliment for my nails and surprise, surprise, even my guy friends and even my male co-workers would say that, oh, I like your nail polish. Like they really appreciate my nails whenever I use this one. So for the whole month of March, I just use this one and everybody around me would say that I have a nice nail color. This is easily accessed in the grocery store. I think this is only like 37 pesos if I'm not mistaken. And yes, given a chance, if I came across with this color again in the grocery store, I will buy this again. Alright, and the last items are my shampoos and conditioner. I finished one tube of L'Oreal Paris Every Pure Sulfate Free Color Care System and this is the purple shampoo. So, I believe this is like 380 pesos for 200 ml. I love this one. Um, when I went blonde, I was really worried that, oh my god, my hair will end up being so rusty. But when I use this as my shampoo, I'm very satisfied because it didn't turn my hair into brassy rust. It turned out that it took good care of my hair, that it turned out to be like golden yellowish. But, but I mean, like, it's so weird actually because I didn't like the color of my hair, but people keep on like complimenting my hair color on me. The fact that my hair is also bleached, uh, it ended up being so um, frizzy and dry. However, when I use this one, it does take good care of all of that. My hair becomes smooth and silky. And to be honest, I switched up my purple shampoo to another brand. But to be honest, I think this is better than the current brand or the current purple shampoo that I'm using. Also, alongside with my purple shampoo, I use the L'Oreal Paris Ever Pure Sulfate Free Color Care System. This is the Freezy Defy Conditioner. It says here that this is a paraben free and 100% vegan. I also love this one and I also love the scent of this one. The L'Oreal Paris Ever Pure uh, Purple Shampoo plus Del Paris uh, Ever Pure Conditioner. The combination of this one is really perfect for my hair. When I used both combination of this one, my hair ended up being soft and silky despite the fact that my hair is already damaged through bleaching. After I use up the current uh, purple shampoo and conditioner that I'm using, I will for sure repurchase these two simply because I really love the effect that it gives to my hair compared to the other brands that I'm using. I am planning to keep my blonde hair for this year. I know my roots are already grown but I'm planning to recolor my hair again after a few months. So in relation to that, these two products will always be with me. I decided to go blonde. Anyways, and that's it. Finally, we're done. Thank you so much for clicking into this video. I hope you find this video helpful and interesting. And yeah, that's it. Thank you so much. And I'll see you again on my next one. Bye-bye.